Hey guys, Jack here from Easy Fix Plumbing. Uh, in this short video, I'm going to show you uh, some of the reasons why you're uh, after you've reseated your tap that it still leaks. And I'm going to run through and show you how to service your spindle and replace your tap wash machine. Right on, let's get into it. Um, Alright, first off, make sure your water's turned off and drain whatever. Drain all the water out. Now, obviously, what you want to do too is when you're uh, you always want to have your tap open when you're taking your spindles and everything out. Yeah. What that does is it just takes the pressure off off the um, washer on the seat. Sorry about the noise, I'll try and leave it down. Stainless trough, so. Um, just grab onto your body here. And sometimes you can't get onto the locking nut here because they've set the Reach in too far, but this one's all right. So, this unscrew that. You might get a little bit of water out of here. Yeah, it's always going to happen. Righto. Um, tap washer, jumper valve, whatever you want to call it. Righto. This is how I service a spindle. Basically, get rid of all your, um, get rid of your tap washer. Take this red fiber. I always replace this as well. Sometimes they, um, you need a screwdriver just get underneath it. This one's been a pain. Right on. So just get underneath there, between the body and the fiber. Lever it off the best way you can. It might look good, I don't know. Uh, I still change them for the sake of what it's worth and then unscrew the uh, spindle all the way out of the body and out just basically unscrew it all the way out like that until you get the uh, o-rings two standard o-rings here now you can get these off the best way you can you can uh, trim them off like that with a little screwdriver you can pull them off with a um, with a pair of pliers, any of that, whichever is the best way you can. Then just give your spindle a clean up. Get rid of all the old grit off it and grease and stuff like that. You'll need O-rings. You can get these in a the kit probably too. Um, I buy these by the pack load of hundreds because that's what I do for a living. Um, so there's a standard spindle O-rings. I think you can get them from places here in Australia. Bunnings, um, Mitre 10. It's just basically roll them out like that. You saw how easy that was. Um, yeah, so then you've got two new O-rings on there. Um, yeah, so you can get them from Bunnings, uh, Mitre 10, Trailing, Grease. Get them like little kits. Um, just slide a new fiber washer on there as well. And I use Hydro Seal. Just for a bit of lube on the, on the spindle, you um, want to do that. You can use Vaseline or anything like that. I just use whatever this stuff here. So just put a bit on there and on your O-ring. And always just put a little doll up there. That's, it. That's my habit that you'll see in a minute too. And slide them in. Now I just use these valves, tap washers, jumper valves, whatever you want to call them. Uh, water is pretty harsh here in the central western Australia. It's a lot of calcium out here and uh, you regularly change them over the time. It doesn't matter what washers you use. I don't think there's any personal preference. Some will argue against that. Yeah, so that's how you service your spindle, your tapware. Um, that's ready to go in there. So now what we're going to do is reseat this uh, seat here. Now there's quite a fair few different seats around. I've got uh, this one. This is a drill one, so it's pretty. You know, yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. I don't know how people can do if they do it with a uh, hand one or not. But just basically screw that into there with mine. I'll just use a drill. And 
I'm going to do is just take the face off. Make sure that it's um, nice and clean in there. Yeah, these heads here are um, uh, tungsten tip, so um, they really hack in or hook into the, uh, the brass. Right, okay, so I'm not sure if we can just zoom in on this or not. See so, how um, I've just given a bit of face out shiny in the bottom here and it's dark up the top. You just want to make it all nice and shiny. So I'll just give that a bit of a nip up. I know you can't see much when I'm doing it like this, but I'll show you this. Yeah, and still a bit more up there. Now I know, nah, this tip has got one inside actually. To do. This one's getting pretty blunt. Done it quite a few taps. Plus I hit it once with the, <laughs> with the stainless steel seat and uh, pretty much blunts them up. But see that there? That's how you're nice and shiny and smooth that whole uh, seat is now. You can see at the back there, this is one of the things that you're going to do. You've got to get all that filings out. See all the filings in the back there? I just use an old sauce bottle and uh, give it a squash out like that, squirt out. You can do it this way. Depends on where you are, what you're doing, and stuff like that. When you've got... Uh, shower restrictors and things like that you want to try and get as much of this out because otherwise those brass fillings filings fillings filings will um what will happen there is when you turn the tap on it'll run through the breech and come out here and this hasn't got an outlet um, and it'll get stuck into there so basically that's it put your uh, spindle back in let's take you back out so you don't need to be up that tight uh, Stick the spindle back in. Give it a nip up. Shove your flange on and your um, spring, if you've got it, on your wall assembly. That's what sort of tapware you have. Every tapware is different. And uh, get your knife, try and get the daddy nut on properly. Screw him up and tighten up the nut. Now, what you want to do is just screw your your um, threading or screw your tapping all the way into almost just until you feel your washer take up on the slap of the seat because you don't want to do it in tight now because when we go turn the water on, what we'll do is it'll flush out all the stuff behind the seat. All those brass filings and everything. If you turn it off tight now, you've run the risk of uh, putting some of that filing and getting it stuck in the uh, behind the washer, and then you basically pull it all apart and uh, do that again. So I'm going to go and turn the water on. I'll back in a minute. All right, water's on. All I do is just open up the uh, tap washer flat out, or we'll open up the valve, the Shove off, do that a couple of times just to get all the brass filings out. Put behind the, behind the seat. Once you've got that, because this is, um, so you can see those brass filings just there on the end of my finger. Um, yeah, just one of those pieces like that gets stuck behind, behind the, uh, tap washer and it'll just keep leaking you won't uh, stop it anyway yeah, guys hopefully that is how i reseat and service tapware and um that works for everything doesn't matter what sort of uh, whether it's basin shower bath laundry taps even washing machine taps um yeah that's as simple as that right up. i'll see you on the next one